Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Testing Help. I'm Sharmila and in this session we'll discuss about the installation process of APM. Now this session is a continuation of a previous video wherein we discussed all the list of tools required or that has to be installed in your machine before you try to perform automation on a mobile device. So we already saw how to install and set it up in your machine until this. So now we'll start with the rest of the tools. The first is the Microsoft Web Driver. Uh, this is a backend support that APM requires. So mostly this comes along with Windows 8 machine in case if it is not found in your machine, just have it installed. Type in Microsoft Web Driver and get it installed from the official website from here. The next tool is PDA Net Plus. This is an optional software. The reason for installing this is it helps us to create an easier connection with your mobile device and the system. Now generally, how do we connect the mobile device and the system? We use, we use a USB cable and uh, we establish the connection as a media device. But uh, for mobile automation, your device should be connected as an USB storage device and only then APM will be able to recognize your mobile device and perform automation on. Now, in order to connect your mobile device as a USB storage one, you have two options. One is to enable the developer options and then turn on that settings. Another one is using this PDA Net Plus software and then you can make the connection in a very simple way. I'll just show you how the, how it can be done using PDA Net Plus. Now, get it installed in your system. Go to the official website and download the latest version. Similarly, download PDA Net Plus in your mobile device from Play Store. Now I'm going to connect my device. It says device attached. Click here to connect to the PDA net. So when I click, it will invoke the PDA net in my mobile device. So connect. Connecting to my phone. I should enable in my phone also. So I'm enabling it. And now I'm connecting it again. So connect internet. So now you can see that the connection is established and uh, it's it's uh, very simple also. You just need the software to be installed in both your device and your machine and the connection is very simple. Okay, so that's the reason I say to prefer PDA Net Plus software. Okay, so that's about it. And next is the Genie Motion software. This is again an optional software. So this is similar to AVD Manager. So what was AVD Manager? It was a virtual device which helps us to create an emulator, right? So Genie Motion also helps us to create an emulator. But the reason why we prefer Genie Motion is that here the execution is faster when compared to AVD Manager. So there in a previous video, uh, um, we saw how slow the launching process was taking place. So when you're using Jenny motion, it, it becomes quite faster when you compare to AVD and also you have lots of configuration options in Jenny motion. When I say configuration options, you have lots of OS versions available, lots of devices with which you can create an emulator, lots of uh, appearance levels also. So here you have two versions. One is a free version and a trial version. I, I would always recommend to sign up for a free version and start installing it in your machine and use it for automation. So this is again a backup plan because sometimes if your AVD is very slow in automating, you can always automate it in an emulator with Jenny Motion. Type in Jenny Motion. Go to the official website. Click on the trial version in the top right corner, sign up and have it installed in your system. And then once it is installed, you can open that software. And this is how it looks like. So I have created a virtual device HTC. So in, if you want to create one, just click add and you can uh, select different configuration levels and create your own device. OK. And next is Java client lab, uh, drivers. So this is these are the Selenium jar files that are required in order to perform automation. This I think you would be already uh, having an idea because the jar files we've already used. So get it from the official website, download the latest jar file and have it. And then comes APM client library. So this is again a jar file available for each of the programming language. So in case if you are trying to program your automation in Java, get the Java APM jar file. If it is a PHP, get the PHP APM jar file. Uh, just go to the official website of APM. 
click on downloads over here and then get whatever jar file you would be programming the automation code on so i will be requiring java jar file so i i select the java client apm jar file and download it in my machine now these jar files you will be adding it as a dependency in your project whenever you use an apm for mobile automation now just consider this is my project so i will add my jar files in the dependencies like this you can see that i have my selenium jar file included and i also have the java client apm jar file included similarly you can include whatever jar files you would require for your automation and start creating a project so that's much about the basic installation process of all the tools required for mobile automation along with apm the next session we will discuss how to configure the mobile device with the system and how to perform automation on it thank you